Okay. Hey guys, a uh, quick video on how um, Quiver is hosted. So, as I said, we are using Versol and AWS. So, the first thing is uh, the front end. So, the front end is using Versol. So, when you go to Quiver.app, uh, the thing is, it's on our uh, hosted on Versol. So, what Versol is, it's something that allows you to host the website. Uh, it's very simple to put in place. I just, um, for example, set up. If we go, for example, here into uh, Git, so I've connected it to my uh, GitHub account, and I'm saying, well, just watch the main branch, and it's going to deploy the website. Also said that um, the website is located in the front end here. But so what it does, it it watches every deployment, every new code, and it deploys uh, the website. So this is the first thing, is uh, the front end. So everything from here is deployed using Versal. The second one, the back end, what happens is um, the back end is using Python with uh, Fast API. So Fast API is um, this thing here. So it's a uh, you know, we create an API. And so what we do is that every um, deployment, uh, every new code deploys a new uh, fast API, um, so in a preview environment on uh, ECS. So for example, this is Amazon. And so here uh, I have one replica for uh, Quiver Preview and three replicas for uh, Quiver backend. So this is the production environment. Um, and so, for example, if we look at the production environment, you can see that. So this is a service. So Fargate is a managed uh, Kubernetes kind of thing. Um, but here I have three replicas running. Uh, so it's called task. And if you look here, each task has half a CPU and one gigabyte of memory. And um, how it works is that every new code that is merged into the main branch creates a new revision. And so it's going to deploy. Uh, for example, if I do that here, first new deployment. So what it does is here it's going to create a new deployment and it's going to have to load three replicas. And once the replicas are running, and everything is okay, it's going to switch the traffic from the old replicas to the new one. Okay? Um, but we, so this is how we deploy the back end and the front end. Uh, now we have two environments. Uh, one of the reasons why we have two environments is because, well, we broke the production environment because we didn't, ha we only had one environment. So now what happens? Um, if we merge into uh, the main branch, it's going to trigger a, a deployment in the preview environment. Uh, so it's going to deploy the front end in a preview environment and the back end. So as you saw on AWS here, we have, um, so here you see, we have uh, three tasks running and three tasks pending. And so it's going to switch soon. Um, so here, if we look at Quiver, we have the pre preview environment. And the preview environment is uh, only has one replica. It's just for us, for testing purposes. And so we can, you know, test the application before it goes to production. Uh, we also implemented some automatic uh, testing using Vitest, um, which is, you know, just a uh, a unit test framework for the front end. We still need to impl implement it on the back end, but this is for the front end. Um, and so when we want to deploy to production, so to change quiver.app, uh, what we do is uh, I just create a new release and uh, it's going to create a new deployment. So for example, this one, uh, it was with this code. So let me see, do I have um, oh, no, no. So this is on main uh, three hours ago. Uh, yeah. So here you see, I've deployed to Amazon ECS 
and I've deployed. Um, so this is the backend uh, deployment, and this is the frontend deployment. So production. Uh, so now we are in production with the v0.0.19, and uh, yeah. So now it's automated. Uh, we don't have to do anything. We merge into the main branch. It creates a preview environment. Uh, uh, the UI can be found. Um, so if we look, uh, we go to to uh, Quiver. We can hear. You see, uh, there is a preview environment. So if I go to this UI, um, I can uh, create an account, and uh, yeah. So here, it's, this is normal because yeah. So here I can just log in and use the preview environment. And uh, we are all good. So yeah, let me show you. Yeah. So here I'm using the preview environment. So you see it's not quiver app that app. Um, and it's working. So this is very important for us to have, you know, automati automation uh, because it allows us to test the application before we release um, everything. Uh, one of the reasons is because right now you are 3,000 users on the platform and we don't want to break anything anymore. It was fun before, we could break things, but now when we break something, we have like 50 messages and it's not good. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you later.